Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. I already have my foundation on. Clearly, I have not brushed my hair yet though. Um, we're sitting here about to play with very expensive makeup. As always, it's WTF, but I have a full on makeup kit that is a collaboration between Decorte, which is a luxury makeup line. I actually don't know a lot about the line and I hadn't heard of it, but it is a collaboration with Decorte. Hope I'm saying that right. And Kate Moss. So she is coming out with makeup, Kate Moss, the supermodel. She has a makeup line. Um, what I found really interesting is that she has a lipstick line with Rimmel. So she's gone drugstore and now this is something so different. It's very, very high end. And I'm not talking just like kind of high end, like $20, $30 lipsticks. I'm talking the whole kit is close to 200 bucks. So what you get in her makeup favorites kit is this right here, I'll show you. Like the sleeve itself actually, I mean, I don't know. I'm not one for a bunch of wasteful packaging, so I probably shouldn't even say this. It's not a big deal to me, but I think for the consumer that wants that whole experience, this might feel a little flimsy for what you're actually paying for the kit. So you just get a sleeve and it shows you on the back everything you get in the kit. I'm gonna open her up. I'm going to show you all that is in here and I'm kind of baffled by the price. I will say that straight away. However, I don't know if it's the formula, the richness, the smoothness, the wear time. We are gonna do a full day wear test. I read an interview and she talks about the lip products being extremely nourishing and that they will wear all day long. So I'm gonna put that through a very thorough test and we are gonna see if that is true or not. But let me show you what the initial little palette of color looks like in here. So you open this guy up, it's a little makeup bag and it's nice. You have on one side right here a pouch for makeup and then brushes and then you have another pouch in here for cosmetics. This was sent to me, you guys saw me probably in the unboxing opening this up and I didn't know that I was gonna make a video on it. And then I looked up the price and I'm like, oh, we need to know what this is all about because why, why is this so expensive? So we have this little palette and you open her up and you have an area right, pardon me. You have an area right here with your lip color. You get four of them and then you have six eyeshadows. This looks like a gift with purchase. I know that's like a horrific thing for me to say, but I just feel like this looks like a gift with purchase. You do get a nice mirror in here. It has, you know, Kate's signature right here. It feels very solid, sturdy, and well-made, but just this setup of like the itty bitty little lipsticks right here, and then the random six pans. Um, so this is the color that comes in the kit. So you do get three brushes. Mm. I'm not really so sure what you're supposed to do. I mean, this is like a very giant crease brush which I'm fine with for like a transition, but I don't really, this is a weird sized brush to come in a kit. Then you get somewhat of like a smudger brush and then I'm assuming this would be for the lipstick. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna see what happens. You also get, you get a lip liner. Ooh, okay, she is pigmented. That is a very pigmented lip liner. Hopefully that works out well. You also get, huh. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Like an extra cartridge of ink? I'm confused. Okay, I think you put it together yourself. Oh, okay, yeah, you do. Whew. Okay, so she is fresh and brand new. And that's kind of cool. All right, that's very glossy. We'll have to see how that dries down. The last thing you get in the kit is a brow pencil. I am praying to God that this is a color that works for me because I need something on my brows ASAP. Interesting, like very, very firm. Like I'm having to press really hard to get color. See if I just go like this. It does not give you a lot of color. So it's the right shade for me. This looks about right, but the tip is just so firm. Okay, we've seen everything that comes in this kit. I'm excited to see how it applies on my face, see what we can come up with, and find out if for some reason this is worth the insane, crazy high price. My lips are so dry, like I can't, they are so dry. I need some kind of like moisturizing lipstick, whatever, something on them ASAP. So I'm gonna take the liner that comes in the kit and I'm gonna go ahead and line. That is a really creamy, nice liner. The weird thing though is it does not match anything that's in this kit. 
this is very rose toned and the rest of these in here are like red, brick red and nudes. You do get a lip brush on the other side of this. That's so nice. This is a nice lip liner, I like it. It's very, very pigmented and creamy, but still firm at the same time, which is great. So I'm gonna go into this pan right here and just see how this layers on top. I'm surprised, I really like that. It is an interesting texture, it dries down matte, it feels very velvety, and it feels moisturizing at the same time. It's a very unique lip formula. I thought in the presentation of this palette that it just kind of looked a little bit cheap, I know, but that's just my first impression, like opening the compact up. So I'm gonna go into the nude, like the lighter nude shade, and, oh wow, that's very pigmented. And just kind of pop this in the center. That's nice, it's really, really nice. Okay, so on we go to the eyebrows. You do get a nice spoolie on here, like it's a nice fat spoolie, and let's just see what we can do with this pencil. This brow pencil is actually really nice. This is 002 Neutral, and what I'm loving about this is on the back of my hand, it was really hard to swatch, but filling in your brows, you guys, this is like a powder in an itty bitty fine, like teeny tiny little fine point, but it's very powdery. It's a very different type of a feel and glide and texture. I like it a lot. So I'm loving the brows, loving, loving. Let's move on to the eyeshadow, which is actually what I'm most hesitant about because I mean, I don't know. The colors just look kind of shimmery, shiny, and I don't know how you can do like a full look with just shimmer, you know? Like I feel like I need some kind of something to have depth in my crease or the outer edge, but we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna take the fluffiest brush that comes with it and I'm gonna dip into the brown in the center. Ooh, that's a lot of dust though. Look at this. Like it's a very powdery shadow. So long as it blends, that's the most important thing to me. I'm happy to tap off excess. It's kind of annoying when things are so powdery that it fluffs over the entire palette. And it's a little bit of a concern with the you know creams over here, getting any of this pigment in the creams. And then you'll have a moment where you put on your lipstick and you have brown shadow mixed in with it. And it's just not the cutest look. So that is a little bit of a drawback, but let's just see how this applies. I have primed my eyes, by the way. I did use this primer right here. This is the Ardell In Her Prime Eye Primer in matte. I've been using that recently and I really like it. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not like blowing my mind, you know? I'm gonna actually take my fingertip and try and pack on a little bit on the outer edge. Yeah, that's shiny, dude. I just, I would prefer a matte shade in here to put in the crease. So, I don't know that I'm really feeling that. I'm gonna take a little bit on my fingertip of this more like smoky shade at the bottom and really press that in the very outer edge. This brush is driving me absolutely crazy, but I don't wanna cave. Like I just wanna use what came in the kit as much as I can, so we're just gonna continue with it. I'm gonna go into the green right here and I'm just gonna take my fingertip. Ooh, that's interesting. When you go in, it kinda changes color and gets a little bit darker. All right, I'm gonna take this guy, I'm going to pop this all over my lid. And gonna go back with the darker shade. This is just not, I'm not loving it. I'm gonna take this guy that comes in the kit and I'm gonna go in this kind of champagne shade up here and I'm gonna go on the inner corner. You guys heard of this brand? Am I the only one that has no idea about this brand? I don't think I've ever seen it. It says it's exclusive to Saks. I've never seen this brand. Shoot, that is so powdery that I kind of can't stand it. I'm gonna attempt to highlight my brow bone with the lightest shade in this palette. It's liner time. I'm not really a big fan of my eyeshadow right now. I am curious to see how this applies it does dry down very shiny. That is not my thing. I just feel like it grabs the wrong kind of attention to your eyelids. I feel like a matte liner is a lot more flattering, a lot more rich, makes your eyes look more wide open and doesn't enhance or call to any texture on your lids. So I usually really only like 
matte liners. But we will see how this applies just in case, you know, some of you guys out there might prefer a shiny liner. Like we all like different things. So let's see. Went on pretty smooth, but nothing that's really standing out to me in a huge way, you know? All right, I'm gonna finish up this eye, pop on some mascara and lashes, and I will be right back. Everything else is on, meaning my lashes, which for some reason always just pull the look together for me. So I'm a little bit 50-50 right now. I don't hate my makeup. I don't think it's worth this high price, but we're gonna see how it all wears and I'm gonna do check-ins for you because that's what we do here on Wednesdays. So I will see you guys a few hours from now in a little bit, which really is just like right now, but it'll be hours from now. Oh my God, I totally forgot about check-ins, you guys. And now it is seven o'clock at night and we need to sit down and chat about the makeup. So I have been at home most of the day. Randomly around lunchtime, James started feeling really sick. So I've been taking care of him. He is sneezing, coughing, needed chicken soup, the whole works. And I am just like washing my hands, trying to drink a lot of water and praying to God that I don't get sick. Cause that's usually, you know, if your husband gets sick or your kids or whoever you're around a lot, you just kind of in the back of your head are like, oh, Cool, I'm next. For one, I changed the lip because it was not long wearing as much as I loved it so much initially. It's not a long wear lip. I feel like the Dior lipstick that I reviewed during WTF, the coal lipstick that is very velvety, that one is super long wearing. The lipstick in this palette has a similar feel, but it did not stay on through me eating lunch. And then I started playing around with other lipsticks and swatching and wound up with I don't even, it, this is not even one lipstick. It's just like a concoction. So anyway, um, the lipstick ended up not really being worth it after all. You guys know how I feel about the eyeshadow, but what I love are these brows. Like it's so good. It has stayed put. I like my brows today so much. So what I want to do right now is hop online, just take a nice little wander with you guys on their website and see how much the brow pencil is individually. Okay, let's do that. The paranoia is real. Do you see this? Yep. Oh, someone was shopping on Naked Wardrobe and J Lux. Like these are like cute little Instagram pages. Okay, no one cares. Decorte powder foundation, $95. Lip palette, $95. Where's the brows? Shut up. Where's the brows? Are you kidding me? They don't sell it. Do a Google search. I like going directly to the source anyway. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm annoyed right now actually because the one thing that I really loved out of this $190 kit that I was gonna tell you guys all, you know what? Even if it's like $40, $50 for this brow pencil, it is superb, it's so good, but they don't sell it separately, which is also kind of strange because the color that I used, you know, worked for my brows, but for someone with darker brows or lighter brows to be limited to just that one shade, like, I don't know, I don't, that doesn't feel good, so. Um, and then finding out online that they market that palette as a cheek palette or a complexion enhancer when really it's shimmery powdery eyeshadow. So I don't know that you would be putting that on your face. I don't know. It's starting to feel like, why would you want to spend $200 on this? You know, hmm. How's your soup? It's delicious. It's, you very, want, it's very ricey. Do you want me to get you a bowl? Mm -mm. How about a bigger spoon? Nope, I'm good. Show my Christmas decorations. Oh dear. James does not like heavy eye makeup. I really like it sometimes, but I mean for $190, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? What, so what's your thing with deers? They're better than creepy Santas. I have not found a Santa decoration that does not freak me out. Like the wise old man with the beard and if they're like a sculpture or a statue, like they just look kind of creepy. Like this is just so much more friendly, I think, right?
Even though we know that this kit is clearly not worth $190, we are gonna go ahead and try on the red lipstick just cause I'm curious and why not? We're closing this video out. It's the only thing that I have not tried. That's really pretty. Again, the lipsticks, I don't hate. I do think they're really beautiful. Are they 12 hours of wear time? No, they absolutely are not. They do sell a lip quad separately that looks like it's a bunch of the red lips or the nudes. You can get one or the two. And in this palette, you kind of have both jammed in one in the palette, but the lip quad, it reminds me of the packaging of Tom Ford eyeshadows and it's $95 for the four lipsticks. I do not think it is worth $95 for lipstick. I just don't, there's nothing that that incredible about it. Online, they claim that these two shades right here can be used on the cheek as blush. I just really don't think so. Or an all over complexion enhancer. Let's try that out. Yeah, that just made me shiny. It's a no, It's a. this is such a no. I have to say, I was really wanting to give the brow product a huge stamp of approval because I do really like this brow product. It has a very interesting texture and feel and I feel like my brows looked good all day long. It is very late at night now. Um, the brushes, I just don't see myself reaching for these. I don't like them. The liner dried down pretty shiny. It wasn't anything spectacular. I'm actually like right now going through a whole test of trying to find the very best black liners. I've been swatching my arms, my hands, just really investigating and trying to find the very, very best drugstore and luxury. And this one did not come near, like it, is there a ghost in here? Oh my God, you guys. I really think my beauty studio is haunted. Like at night, whenever I am in here alone, stuff starts falling off the shelves and things get knocked over and weird sounds happen and it always freaks me out. Okay, the liner does not compete with even a lot of my drugstore like $5 favorites. So this is a pass. And the lip liner was really, really great. It didn't match any of the lipsticks. So that was kind of strange and you can't purchase it separately. And I just think this whole thing for $190, like I love Kate Moss and I was excited to try a new luxury brand thinking that for that price, something had to be very Tom Ford-esque. It had to be very, just, uh, just like very good feels and um, spectacular and it just wasn't. I mean, my eyeshadow is gone. There's nothing here. It's not worth the money. I love you guys so much for hanging out even when things take a weird turn and it ends up not being like, a cool new product to check out. So I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. If you did, hit the like button and I love you. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.